Welcome again on the Dr. Ridwan Show, Health Information You Can Use. This episode is on testosterone deficiency or low testosterone or what's called in medical terminology, hypogonadism. We learned a lot about this all the way from what testosterone is to testosterone deficiency, its symptoms and signs, and also the treatment options. I would like first to thank our guest experts, Dr. Ajinehra, a urologist with long-term expertise and interest in men's health and urology, and Dr. Matt Rosenberg, a family practitioner with tremendous experience in urology and medical urology. I thank you very much for being on our show on behalf of our viewers. Thank you, Dr. Chopsig. It's been a pleasure, and along with Dr. Rosenberg, I think this segment were indeed very informative as we discussed the issue of low T. And I want to thank you as well, both of you, uh, for this. I mean, it's always been a passion of mine that any disease state is going to start with the patient and the primary care physician. And I think that we've really provided some great information for them. You know, just as you're saying, the information you can use, the patients need to know that a lot of their health care starts with them and being aware is going to help them a great deal as they're interacting with the uh, health professionals. And thank you again, and as you mentioned, information you can use as our promise to you on the Dr. Ridwan Show. It is health information you can use, and at the end of each episode, we promise to give you the action tools. The action tools are health messages of health information that can be used to improve your health. So from today's show, on testosterone deficiency and testosterone replacement therapy, here are your action tools. First, if you have symptoms of low energy, low mood, difficulty concentrating, low sexual desire, erectile dysfunction, ask your doctor whether your testosterone should be checked. Second, if you have obesity, especially obesity in the abdomen, if you have diabetes type 2, if you have the so-called the metabolic syndrome, if you have asthma, ask your doctor whether your testosterone level should be checked. And third, remember that if you have low testosterone, there are excellent treatment options that can be available for your treatment. Ask your doctor about your treatment options if you are diagnosed with low testosterone or hypogonadism. Thank you again for viewing our show on low T, low testosterone, testosterone deficiency or hypogonadism and testosterone replacement therapy. This is the Dr. Ridwan Show, health information you can use. Come back to www.drridwan.com.